right. We're going to go through a part of the 2012 uh, free response question, AP Calculus AB um, problem. Uh, and this is going to be question number five. And what we have here is they tell us that the rate, and I'm just going to kind of go through it and I like this, the rate at which a baby bird gains weight. All right. So the rate at which a baby bird gains weight is proportional. So if I would do this, um, baby bird, so DB, DT. So that's where we have that. That's our rate is proportional to the difference between its adult weight, all right? So adult weight and its current weight, okay? Its current weight, all right? And so B is its current weight. And so the difference between there, so this right here, if you look at this differential equation, that would be um, DB, DT, all right? And that would be K for the constant proportionality. Difference between a, uh, adult weight. So whatever the adult weight is, so I'll just go put um, B adult minus its current weight. I'm just going to put B right there because that will change whatever its current weight is going to be. So when we have this, I am just went through this to show you this is how you could construct this interval, and then we need to plug in some values. Now in this problem, they didn't really plug in values. They did tell us a time when t equals 0, so they give us initial condition, t equaling 0. Bird is first weight, its weight is um, 20 grams, all right, 20 grams. And so um, essentially the weight is going to be 20 grams, okay? So we have that right there. B of T is the weight of the bird in grams, and T is there. So they have this. They then give us our values right here. So really this is our K value, all right? Our adult weight is 100, all right? So this is BA. And they fill it out for us, which is so nice of them, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice. All right. And so we have that there. All right. So we could have created this differential equation, but they were so nice to fill it out for us. But in part C, the most important part of this problem, so whenever you're doing a differential equation, it usually is always on an AP test, you want to know how to solve this differential equation using separation of variables, okay, to find, in this case, BT. We're going to find the particular solution of the differential equation with the initial condition, which we wrote out right here, which is b of 0 equals 20. So without further ado, let's solve this. Okay, so we have db dt, all right, equals 1 fifth, all right, 100, don't wait, minus our b, our current weight. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to separate our variables. So that's the first step, separate variables. So db, we're going to take this, because that's our b expression. So we're going to have 100 minus b, and that equals 1 fifth. Dt. Now from here, we're going to integrate this. We're going to integrate this. Now, the one side over here, this is pretty easy to integrate. So we have one fifth of t, and we're going to add our plus c. Over here, be very careful because we're going to use a little u substitution. And when you have this, if we have u substitution, u would equal 100 minus b. Okay. But when you take the derivative of this, we're going to have this right here, which is going to be negative. All right, uh, db. Well, we only have a positive e, so we're going to have a negative du, which is located right there. All right, and that's going to equal db. So when we have that, we're going to have this negative um, du over u, which then is going to turn into, all right, negative natural log of u. What's u? u is 100 minus b, all right, equals 1 -fifth t plus c. The negative is what usually screws up students. Do not forget that, or you will get point deduction or won't achieve all the points that you could have achieved. All right, so be careful that coefficient next to the B, but we are using natural log. Awesome. From here, what I usually have my students do is now we're going to take this and we're going to just solve for C. All right, so once we have, we're going to take our point or just condition and solve for C. So I'm going to plug in that point 0, 020, all right, 0, 020 in here. And so we have negative natural log of, all right, um, 100 minus 20. And it equals go one fifth times zero. And so what we have here is that's going to equal negative natural log of 80. And that equals C. From here, we're going to take this, and I'm just going to move it over there. So now we have this negative natural log of 100 minus B equals one fifth T minus natural log of 80. All right, minus natural log of 80. That's so we have our value. Now from here, we're now going to solve for B. Okay, so now we're going to solve for B. That's going to be the final step. All right, solve for B. Well, I'm going to take this negative, distribute it through. So we have natural log of, all right, 100 minus B. 
we're going to have negative one-fifth t. Now, there's other ways you could do this. All right, when we're going through, we're at e both sides now. And so we have 100 minus b equals, all right, e to the negative one-fifth t plus natural log of 80. Using our properties of exponents and logs, we know that this is initial condition going to be in the front. So we have 80 e to the negative one-fifth t equals 100 minus b. I'm going to solve this a little bit more. And I'm going to just to keep this easy. Um, this is a little math trick. <laughs> I'm going to take b and I'm going to add to the other side and subtract that to the other. So we're going to actually have b, our 100, minus 80 e to negative one-fifth t is equal to b. And that would be bt. Bada-bing, bada-boom. And that's what we have for our answer. Okay? And so that's what b of t is going to be. If you want to put b of t on the other side, that's fine. But this is a function. Just make sure you have those different values. So going through, all right, we have a six-step process doing this. Given our differential equation, be very careful that you just don't make this exponential, all right, even though I've gone through some other ones like that. But you want to separate variables properly. Be careful when you have this expression down here. Look at the coefficient. Sometimes it will be negative. So make sure you put that negative there. Um, take the integral. Very easy to do. Um, add your C, solve for C by using your initial condition, plug that back in, solve for B, and go to town. All right. Well, I hope this helps you out on how to solve differential equations. This was usually used for five or six points on an AP test. So it's definitely something you want to know how to do. All right. Moving forward. All right. Well, good luck. I'm blessed and the rest of your problems.